Okay, so um, model number two, the fork end clamp. Um, I've just opened up a brand new file in SolidWorks. Um, on the drawing, we're given direction X as the front view of the model. So if we look at the model, basically it's made up of two cylinders um, that are standing up vertically and one across the back to make the clamp section. The easiest way to start with this is to start from the top down. So first thing, go and choose the top plane. And I'm going to go straight into the extrude tool. Okay, so onto here, I'm going to position the outlines for my two cylinders. Uh, I'm going to do that with the circle tool. And I'm going to snap to the point of origin just to keep everything centered. Okay, so draw out two circles. And you can see here we can get this snap line horizontally. Uh, so I'm just going to move to the left and produce the smaller two circles. All right, um, we can connect the center of these two circles with a center line. And this is going to allow us to measure the distance between the two circles. So I'm going to get the smart dimension tool. And the distance we're looking for center to center is 75 millimeters. All right, the larger circles were given a radius of 22.5 given as a diameter of 45 for the external and an internal of 12.5 radius given as a diameter of 25. Okay, uh, the small circles. So these eventually need to be cut out to give us kind of a, a magnet or um, a horseshoe shape. Uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. So the external dimension for this, uh, we have 35. And the internal is 15. All right, so don't let the difference between the radius and diameters trip you up. Um, always, always look for the symbols uh, and make adjustments where necessary. Okay, so two, uh, the four circles are now produced, um, and I'm just going to sort out this uh, this sort of horseshoe shape at the front. And now this can be achieved just using the line tool. And I'm just going to snap to the top center. You can see these little points appear. Top center of the large circle. Move out to the left. Down until you see the next snap line. And then back across again to the bottom of the circle. All right. Now, I'm not worried about my dimensions at the moment. i just drawn that shape out. What we can also do here is connect the top of the small circle to the left-hand line. And if you actually click down and hold on the line tool, when you let go, the line tool does not continue. If you click a start point and then click an end point, unfortunately, the line tool tends to carry on. Um, so I'll just drag that across again. All right. And let's add the length dimension to this. Uh, the distance here is already preset because we're snapping to our diameters that we set earlier. Uh, so the length from center to edge is 15. So I'll just measure this line here, and that should pull everything across. OK, now we could spend a bit of time here with the Trim Entities tool and neaten everything up. However, you know, because we get the nice selection tool within um, the extrude tool, I'm going to going to leave it just to save a bit of time. All right, we have a, a plate section that runs across the, the sort of full model between the cylinders. And I'm going to create two tangent lines for this. OK, so we want to avoid these snap points this time and just move away slightly. Now, sometimes if you're lucky, you can get this to work automatically. So similar here, you can see the line is coming off at a tangent. I haven't had to set that manually. Um, once you've got it on one side, we can mirror it over using our center line. Uh, and just to show you there, if, if you don't manage to get the tangent join, if you click the line, hold control and click the circle in the options on the left, you can see a tangent option here. And when applied, it should appear in this relations box. All right. Uh, so let's mirror this over. So I'm just going to go into the mirror entities tool at the top. You'll see the first box is entities to mirror. So I'm going to click on the diagonal line. Notice it goes all the way to the front or left edge of the model. And then the mirror about selection and choose the dashed line. 